Do you feel confused by how the Book of Mormon is organized? Well, grab your scriptures and your kids and let's make this crystal clear. Mormon's plan for the scriptural record was just to abridge the large plates of Nephi. However, after abridging the record from the time of Lehi down to King Benjamin, he felt prompted to add Nephi's second book, The Small Plates of Nephi, which covered the exact same time period he'd just abridged. He didn't bother with abridging the small plates. Mormon then continued on with abridging the rest of the large plates. Now grab your scriptures, and if you hold on to 1 Nephi through 1 Omni, those are the small plates, the unabridged duplicate record of the portion of the large plates Mormon abridged first. But where is Mormon's abridgment? That was the 116 pages that Joseph Smith lost. Now, Words of Mormon is Mormon's explanation of why he's including this duplicate record. Now, hold on to Mosiah through Mormon 8, and that is Mormon's abridgment of the rest of the large plates. He then gave the records to his son Moroni, who finished his father's book. He added an abridgment of the record of the Jaredites, that's the Book of Ether, and then he added his own book and a title page. And that's it. <laughs> 